There are plenty of times when people insult other people or hurt other people without ever meaning to. They might be the nicest people in private life, but just because they don't know what the etiquette is, they do something that wouldn't be insulting in another context, but can be at the poker table where there's a lot of money involved. Welcome Poker Life. Next question, Crispin. Can you please tell me what is good poker etiquette and why is it important? Great question. Good poker etiquette is the grease that makes an otherwise competitive, mean-spirited, hustling game positive and enjoyable for everyone. It's what keeps the games alive and going and make sure that people who are recreational and professional have a great time at the table. Knowing what good poker etiquette is is really important, but it's also one of those things that people are embarrassed to ask about. You don't want to be seen as the one person who doesn't understand what's going on. It can be frequently like being that one kid in the class who needs to put up their hand so everyone can get the answer. So good poker etiquette is really important, but also quite misunderstood. You can divide good poker etiquette into two categories. Category one is how you're perceived at the table as an honest player. Someone who isn't trying to cheat someone or get undue influence or angle shoot or be dishonest in any way or just playing your game as hard and as fairly as you can without bending the rules in any way. So talking about the hand with the person next to you that you're really chummy with or uh, folding out of turn deliberately or doing anything that's just seen. I mean, obviously some of these break the rules too, but they're not necessarily punished harshly or the rules may not be enforced. Speaking in another language when you've got cars in front of you that not everyone can speak. Those kinds of things that uh, you may not be doing to get an advantage, but the fact that it can be perceived by others as getting an advantage or potentially getting an advantage is poor etiquette. Category two is making sure that people who are already experiencing tilt or feeling bad or have lost money are not made to feel worse than they need to be. It always feels better to win in poker than to lose, but you don't want to have people piling on you when you've made a mistake or have someone slow roll you, which I'll get to, uh, when you are thinking you might have won the pot. Like These are really important aspects of poker to make sure that everyone wants to keep coming back. Otherwise, they'll just quit. And uh, whatever short, fleeting bit of ego drive you get from making someone feel bad to aggrandize yourself is not going to be worth the reputation that you receive for having done that and making the games worse and less enjoyable for everyone. You don't want to be that person. There are plenty of times when people insult other people or hurt other people without ever meaning to. They might be the nicest people in private life, but just because they don't know what the etiquette is, they do something that wouldn't be insulting in another context, but can be at the poker table where there's a lot of money involved. Can't tell you how many times there have been tourists or, or recreational players or people who don't speak good English who get into an altercation with another player and it's obvious that they didn't mean anything by it. They just did something that an experienced poker player would find as an insult. A great example is the classic slow roll. For those who don't know, and there will be some viewers who don't know, for those who don't know, a slow roll is when you think you've got the best hand, you've got the nuts or a really strong hand, and you're really slow to turn over your cards when it's your turn to do so. So let's say your opponent has undenarred for minutes trying to work out whether they can call you with their bottom pair. They eventually throw in the call thinking that you're bluffing and you have top set. If you sit there and wait for ages, hoping your opponent turns over their cards or you um and ah or say something that indicates your opponent has the best hand, but then you turn over the hand after to kind of be like, ah, I've actually got the nuts. That's really poor form and that's called a slow roll. Me personally, I wouldn't be upset by slow rolls if it weren't for the fact that people know that it's poor etiquette. And to do that, you're generally only do that because you wanna insult someone or hurt somebody. Mm -hmm. So don't slow roll. And if someone slow rolls you, then uh, try to absorb that insult because everyone else will be thinking bad thoughts about them. You don't need to overreact to that. It can be very annoying, particularly if someone indicates that you've got the best hand. And that's the only time where I get particularly upset by it. So for example, I call my opponent on the river. And they say, you got it, 
or good call or verbal indication that I've won the hand. I turn over my cards immediately, which I always do. And if they then turn over a really strong hand that beats me, I will be insulted by that. Particularly if they slow roll that turnover, they um and ah and be like, oh, you know, well, I've only got the nuts, I'm sorry. Um, that's a really poor form because not only have they slow rolled me, but they have done so in a way that extracts information that they weren't entitled to. I like to show my hand as quickly as possible, particularly if I think I've beat my opponent, even if it gives away some information because that's good etiquette. Berating other people when they've made a play that you don't personally like is among the worst things. You get these people who make a call and they lose all their money and then the person next to them says, how can you make such a dumb call, it's terrible, blah, blah, blah. Berating that person, first of all, isn't gonna make them play any better. Uh, secondly, the person who's doing the abusing is usually not that good themselves because really good top winning professionals generally don't do that sort of thing. They want people to feel good about themselves. So why is poker etiquette so important then? How does it benefit you as a player, the game, and also the broader culture of poker? In almost any activity, there is such a thing as sportsmanship and be a good sport. In poker, it's more important than just about any other endeavor for several reasons. Number one, it involves a lot of money. People are winning and losing money at the table, and so people are sensitive about that. Tempers can get switched on very fast. And if you think about where poker comes from originally, these things can be dangerous. It's a, it's, the, the etiquette was built up to mollify what is an otherwise potentially explosive environment. Uh, two, it's all about people having fun in an environment where they could be losing money. If people show up to poker, they don't feel welcome, they feel like they're getting abused, they feel like people are a bit cliquey and it's just the same people all the time who kind of make fun of everybody else or try to gang up on people or that the dealers are being biased or whatever it is that makes someone feel unwelcome is bad for the game, it's bad for poker. For poker to survive and thrive, the ecosystem must continue. It must draw in new people. People must get excited about poker, passionate about poker, and feel like the people that are there playing with them are good, honest players. Uh, so for example, if you're playing a game and someone asks you after a hand, hey, do you think I made a mistake there? Or would you have done the same thing? Or would you have folded this hand pre-flop? Or whatever it is, if they're just asking as a recreational, they don't know, and they're looking to you from a position of trust, give them an honest answer. You don't have to tell them everything about your personal game, but just be direct and try and help them out. Make them feel like they're learning something at the table. And take the fact that they trust you with a degree of honor and that will keep them coming back. So being good for the game is really important. And then finally, the aspect of poker being both competitive and cooperative. It's competitive in the sense that there's a lot of lying, a lot of edge getting, there's people trying to bluff each other. It's an environment where under most social contexts, it would be considered immoral. You're, you're lying through your teeth, you're being deceptive, you're doing things that are deliberately aimed to maximize your personal advantage in what is a zero sum environment. One person wins, the other person loses. To be able to do that in an environment where everybody can engage in that activity without it turning into anarchy, obeying the same rules, Etiquette is so important. It's not just what the minimum requirement is. It's what everyone feels they can do in a high trust environment. You're doing things in poker that in normal life you could get into a lot of trouble for, you get into a lot of uh, conflict. Whereas in poker, that's not the case. There is an agreement that people will behave in a certain way, both spoken in the rules, but unspoken in the form of etiquette. Mm, no, I agree. And I also obviously extra layer because it's gambling and <laughs> anything in the gambling space requires reputation and trust. <laughs> Absolutely. Reputation is everything in gambling. Good point. Good point. So bring it back to you guys. Have you got any 
examples of good and bad poker etiquette to share? Leave your thoughts and comments below. Where do you even draw the line? We so keen to hear from you. Until next time. Ciao for now.